Today we're going to be looking at graphing. Many of you are familiar with graphing, however, we're going to look at some more of the specific and the key points that are often emphasized in science. We're going to be looking at some types of graphs, as well as just key things of where on, where on the x and y axis certain materials go. Let's dive in. Graphs can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, from pie charts, to line graphs, to other such. These things can be as confusing or as simple as the data wants to present itself. Today we're going to look at the key parts of a graph, as well as ways that you can avoid errors. The first thing to see is the parts of a graph. There's the title, the y-axis, and the x-axis. The x-axis, typically time or amount, goes here. And then the y-axis, typically values, such as numbers or amounts, go there. The reason these rules are set in place is so that it's kind of a standard presentation of information, as you can see here. The values, in this case temperature, are on the y-axis, and the time is on the x-axis. Scales. Scales are the marks on the graph. They must be equal amount in amount apart. So for example, in the right way, by increments of 5, in the wrong way, random numbers are placed matching to the data points. Even if the points don't accurately match up with the scale, that's okay, as long as the scale has an equal distance apart from each tick mark. Title. Tells the reader what the data is about. Must be very specific. For example, line graph of the amount of arrows watching television when compared from the ages of 5 to 23. Graph titles are very specific, as that way any person who's reading the chart or graph is not confused about what the data is telling them. 